Before the Rafale, France relied on aircraft like the Mirage 3 and Mirage 2000. These jets were highly successful and widely exported, but by the late 1980s, it became clear that a new, more versatile aircraft was needed to meet the demands of modern warfare. The development of the Rafale began in the mid-1980s with the aim of creating a multi-role fighter that could replace several different aircraft in the French Air Force and Navy. It needed to excel in air superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance, and nuclear deterrence missions, offering unmatched flexibility and performance. The Rafale's testing phase started with its first flight in 1986. Over the next several years, the aircraft underwent rigorous trials to validate its design and capabilities. These tests included extensive aerodynamic assessments, weapons integration, and systems evaluations, ensuring the Rafale could meet all operational requirements. Let's take a look at the specifications of the Dassault Rafale. The aircraft has a mass of approximately 10 tons empty weight, a length of 50 feet 15.3 meters, a wingspan of 35 feet 10.9 meters, and a height of 17 feet 5.3 meters. It's equipped with a 30mm GIT 30-719B cannon and can carry a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, including the Mica, Meteor, Scalp EG, and AM-39 Exocet. The Rafale can reach speeds of up to Mach 1.8 1,370 miles per hour or 2,205 kilometers per hour and has a combat range of 1,850 kilometers 1,150 miles. These stats highlight its impressive versatility and performance. One significant pro of the Rafale is its multi-role capability. Unlike many other fighters that specialize in either air-to-air -air or air-to-ground missions, the Rafale excels in both, making it an incredibly flexible and valuable asset for any air force. The Rafale has seen combat in several operations, including missions in Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, and Syria. Its versatility allows it to perform a wide range of tasks, from air superiority and close air support to reconnaissance and strike missions, proving its effectiveness in real-world scenarios. Despite its strengths, the Rafale has its cons. One issue is its relatively high cost compared to some competitors, which can be a drawback for nations with limited defense budgets. This high cost is a result of the advanced technology and systems integrated into the aircraft, aiming to provide unmatched performance and versatility. French military doctrine at the time emphasized the need for a multi-role aircraft capable of addressing various threats and missions. The Rafale was designed to embody this doctrine, providing the French armed forces with a single platform that could replace multiple older aircraft types. To address its high cost, Dassault has offered various upgrades and export variants to meet the needs and budgets of different countries. Additionally, the French government has supported its domestic and international sales to ensure the Rafale remains competitive in the global market. As of now, over 200 Rafales have been produced, serving in the French Air Force, French Navy, and several other countries including Egypt, India, and Qatar. This production number reflects its success and demand on the international stage. The Rafale comes in several variants, including the Rafale C single-seat land-based version, Rafale B2-seat land-based version, and Rafale M single-seat carrier-based version. Each variant is tailored to specific operational requirements, further showcasing the aircraft's versatility. The Dassault Rafale is a testament to French aerospace engineering, combining advanced technology, versatility, and combat effectiveness into one formidable package. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into military history and technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.